So, a love and wonderful morning and uh, just want to share a couple of things. If you want to succeed in life, you must never compare yourself with anybody. And if you want to succeed in effort, you must always compare in days and years. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we are doing now quickly. The recently introduced. Let's quickly check it out. First one is in age 1 and 5. So, comparison with age 7 and age 9. Contract acquisition cost is not specifically dealt with age 7 or age 9. So, but in India is 1 and 5 is specifically dealt with. So, this is the example. A software company has agreed to pay a commission of 1% of the contract value to sales consultant who has agreed to work on a successful bidding of proposal to a customer. In case the contract is not signed by the company and a customer, there is no commission to be paid to the sales consultant. So the contract value group is going to grow over three years and the company has signed the contract with the customer after successful bidding with the help of sales consultant. So the account difference will be as follows. First year it will be contract acquisition cost one crore that is amount is expense of 33 pound and contract asset is 66.67 lakhs. So in AS9 it will be 1 crore as sales commission expense and second and year 3 no treatment whereas in this case under in days 1 and 5 so the contract asset will be 33.34 lakhs in year 2 and also lastly contract asset will be nil because that entire value of 1 crore is uh, over so in the ratio of 66.6 33.34 so it will be nil in the last year hope you all of you are following and you got this so move on to the next one Cash selling price will be 1 lakh and promised selling price will be 1 lakh 21 fairly straightforward. So in India it's 1 lakh 21 as you all know this 21,000 is treated as interest income and it will be disclosed under other income. Whereas in the case of AS9 there is no partition as such since once the risk and rewards are transferred to the customer then entire 1 lakh 21,000 will be recognized and there is no need to separately recognize the interest income. So and next one is service concession arrangements. So very important question I also shared a video on this so do check it out list in 70 of your study material. So in India is 1 5 specifically dealt with but it's A7 and A9 it does not talk about the accounting treatment for service concession arrangements. And lastly India is 1 5 deals with warranties in two specific ways. However in A9 only a general provision for warranties is sufficient without revenue recognition or reversal of a contractual liability. So that's typically about uh, is uh, 9 versus India is 1 and 5. So next one is India is 12 versus A is 22. Timing difference as you all know in A is the timing difference based on income based approach but in India is 12 it's balance sheet based approach. Then next next one so para 15 A is 22 except in situation in uh, para 17 different tax should be recommended carry forward only to the extent there is a reasonable certainty so, and also parasitism attack considerance prudences cannot be ignored. So, DT are recognized only to the extent there is a reasonable certainty of realization. So, in these tool and this both require excess of prudence, but in these requires only probable, probable existence of tax of profit against which so the requirement of reckoning DTA is very very strict that is virtual certainty kandi ko but India is told on the not that harsh so this is basically in between AS22 and India AS12 so next one is India is one of six AS19 does not contain any guidance on separation of lease and only components yeah. those who are given the exam uh, uh, in uh, last number would have got this the lease and non lease components so the question came ten marks question so this India is 1 and 6 versus uh, AS19 is very very important question so in uh, in case of AS19 does not talk about uh, the separation of lease and non lease components whereas in, and in another uh, the difference key difference is AS19 is based on dual classification model of operating and finance list with different class of measuring for each class of items so in case of finance lease, 
asset and I will recognize an equal amount of fair value. So the accounting for lease under the book of lease under AS19 is completely different from so ROV asset is not referred to be accounting under AS19. So the subsequent measurement percentage in this group is not at all relevant from AS19 perspective. Hope all of you all this is a good question. Do check it out. So do make this investigation of a test. Okay.